Welcome everyone to our course Digital Design with Verilog. In today's class, we are going to talk about minimization of switching function using kernel map. This part of the lecture was prepared from chapter 4 of Coavis book. So, in previous week, we have seen uh, that a circuit function or switching function can be represented as a sum of product or a product of some form, right? So, now uh, let us try to understand what is the cost involved in implementing a sum of product or product of some expression in hardware. Okay. So, let us take some arbitrary sum of product expression say AF equal to XYZ plus XYZ bar plus X bar Y bar Z. Okay. So, this is kind of AND, right? So, I can think about and assume that in my uh, hardware we have always two inputs and gate or gate and all right so to implement this you can think about i need a and gate where i will do x y and then i will do z right so you can think about it is basically a three input and gate but internally you have two and get to implement this so similar way i will do this x y and z bar z bar and so this i have implemented here and similarly i'll implement x bar y bar and this is z right so we usually take x or x bar for any variable this is called literals Right, I can, we can assume those are the inputs and now then we have to do a or so again you can think about uh, there is or get which will do this oring operations so first I will do a or of this then I will do a or of this plus this, this will be my f right. so usually this kind of representation this is called and plane and this is or plane now uh, to implement this function uh, how many gates we need uh, 6 plus to 8 8 gates right and uh, what about the delay uh, what is the delay it's basically the time you need to compute the output right and you can think about here there are multiple uh, path here right so in the uh, in this particular circuit if, if you think about these are the inputs and this is your output there are many paths are there right so there is a path from x input to going through this and gate going through this to this right so there is a, um, a path here from z bar to this and gate to this to this to this right so there is a path here which is from z to going through this to this right so you can think about in hardware when you do this and operation it will take some time right so the time may be very small maybe some nanoseconds but it will take some time to uh, perform their operation so there are two parameters where we design a circuit is area where we have talked about that if you assume that all gates two input gates are x equal amount of area so i can think about that there are eight gates the area corresponding to eight gates the other one is the timing right and which is basically determined by the delay okay so as i mentioned there is a multiple paths in this design and every path has different number of gates right so that means if you just assume that each gate take one unit of time say one nanosecond uh, to perform that operation so the path from x to f has four gates right so it will take four unit of time that means four nanoseconds say whereas this z has uh, path is having two gates right so this path has two gates so this will take two unit of time so among all the paths the path that has maximum execution time or the delay that is what is the critical path right so i can say here uh, safely that the maximum delay is four because there is longest path where the number of gates is maximum which is the critical path Right. So, the timing or the total clock period will be determined here by the critical path. 
right so here it is four unit of time four unit of uh, time right so now you think about when you have given you a switching function which is represent as a sum of product and you are uh, going to implement this in hardware you need to optimize both right area and timing you want to make sure that you are using minimum number of gates and also the critical path um, that is coming here is also minimum okay so obviously when you try to optimize a design your objective would be to optimize this two right or minimize this two optimize area and timing so now let us uh, see how we can do that so what we can clearly understand that whenever there are three and get uh, three literals in a mean term this, these are called mean terms right these are the mean terms so it the number of and gets to implement a mean term depends on the number of literals okay so if uh, there are a mean term uh, if there is a mean term say of uh, four literal say of four variable mean term right so w w x y and z then you need probably three and get but i can always connect them in this way right so w x y and z i will connect like this right so this will be my it will uh, implement this so i can clearly understand that the number of literal uh, makes an impact on the number of gates that i need to implement that particular function so obviously my objective will be to the first objective will be to reduce the number of literals that are present in that particular switching function obviously that will be my immunization objective now let us see the other aspect so now if you see here if there are three product terms okay so there are uh, you basically have three product terms so you you implement uh, using two or gates here right so and it contribute a delay is two right now you think about you have four product term right so product term, i'm not writing the product term so these are the product term right this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 so if you have say more product terms right so there are say four product terms so p1 p2 p3 p4 so which is the output of such some and gets right this this is how now if you want to combine them you will use a or get first to combine these two and then you will use another or get to do this then there will be another or get to combine these two right so that means your delay is kind of two and obviously you can see that the number of uh, product term or the main term also contributing to the number of gets so the first thing is that you reduce the literals the literals contribute to the and gets so if you have less literals your number of and gets will be less hence your uh, design have uh, less area similarly you want to also reduce the number of product term right or the main terms so uh, if the number of product term is more you need more number of or get right so for example when there are four product term i need three or get if there are three product term i need two or get okay now let us think about there is another uh, uh, another product terms are there p5 okay. in this case what you have to do i have to put one more or get here and that will come here so it is also contributing to the delay here the delay was two here the delay is one to three right so that means if the number of product term increase so that not only increase the number of or get to be required to implement this in addition to that it will always increase the delay more prominently because uh, uh, because you need more number of or gets in series to get that value computed right so if you see that way the this and this particular uh, mean terms are running in parallel right so the number of delay here will be depend on number of uh, number of literals right if there are three variables you need two level if you have four variables then also you need two levels if there are five variables you need one more level right so then we'll, then you need one more level to compute this right so it will your delay will be three but all the number of mean terms they are running in parallel right so they will not basically get added up in the latency 
So obviously the number of literals in an impact on the delay of the design. On the other hand, the number of product time actually have a more impact on the delay because they will be connected in series. Okay. So obviously we what we understood that we have to minimize minimize the number of literals. We have to uh, minimize the number of uh, product terms, but most important factor is reducing the number of product terms or the mean terms because the number of product terms is not only impacting the area as well as the delay because it's impacting it has more impact on both area and delay whereas uh, this literal also have in impact area and less uh, less impact on the delay as compared to the product term. okay so i think this summarize the optimization objective so our optimization objective is you try to minimize the number of product terms okay first you reduce the number of product terms and then among if there are many product terms with minimum number of if there are say multiple options of some representation with number of product term is same then i'll choose the one which has the minimum number of literal okay so minimum product term followed by number of literals okay so this is the kind of optimization objective i given a uh, sum of product expression like this uh, any any expression like this i will try to express this in terms of minimum number of product term and then once i found there are four say uh, minimum expression with minimum number of product term i will choose the one which has the minimum number of literals okay so this is the optimization goal which we understood okay you can think about the very other uh, optimization goals but that we i think now we have already concluded that our optimization objective is this right first you reduce the number of product term and then you reduce the literals on the minimum number of product terms okay now i think this questions uh, answer will be very much clear that if you have three terms product terms and 12 literals and there is another minimum expression where there are five terms and 10 literals okay so you can see here the number of literals is less here right as compared to this one but since it has uh, less number of term this will be my choice because i first try to get minimum number of product term so this is satisfy this and then i'll try to minimize the literal so if there is one more case three term and 14 literals or say there is one more case where you have three term and say 10 literals among these three i will choose this one because it has minimum number of terms and minimum number of literals on that okay so this is my optimization goal and it is very clear to your mind when you try to minimize a switching function next question is uh, how do we do this optimization okay so how do you reduce the number of product term and how do we reduce the literals okay so this uh, is given by this expression right so in general if you have two product term okay say this x bar y z bar and x bar y bar z bar you can see that uh, x bar y x bar and z bar is same right so x bar and z bar is same in both both the product term and uh, y is differing right so y plus y bar right so you can kind of taking common this part whatever is common part here then this y and y bar if you do a or it will be always one right this will be result in one so this will be combined into x bar z bar so the rule is says that if you have a sub expression a followed by a literal a then you have the same sub expression a and there is a, a bar if i combine this i will get a you can see here once you combine these two uh, product term the number of term also reduce because you end up having only one uh, product term and also the number of lit literal also reduce earlier there are six literals now i have two literals right earlier there are two product terms i have now one product terms so this is the basic rule of combining thing okay so till this point i understood that i have to uh, minimize this where i have to reduce the number of product term and then within the num minimum number of product term, I will choose the one which has the minimum number of literals. And to combine the how to combine several product term, 
I can combine two product term if they differ by a single literal, right? Uh, if it has x and it has x bar, I can combine and rest of the part is same. I can just ignore that part is different and I choose the part which is common to both of them, okay? So, this is the simple philosophy, okay? But now, I should think about a process uh, which can help us to do that, okay? If you remember the truth table representation, so this say uh, you have three variables x, y and z, right? So, there are three possible values 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and then 1, 1, 1, right? Now, you see here our objective is to find out uh, if two product term they are differ by one bit, they should be close by. Right. So, for example, if you take these two scenario, uh, if you take these two cases here, the difference between these two is 3, right. So, this is, is 1, sorry. In this case, the difference is only 1 because they differ by 1 bit. But if you take this one, this scenario, here the difference is 1, 2, 3, right. You take these two combination, the difference is in 2 bits. So, that means the consecutive uh, values that is there in the truth table, they are not differ by uh, one bit always. So, just combining two product term uh, in the truth table is not something uh, is very easy here. It is not convenient here, okay. So, we need a better representation, okay. So, for that we go by this Carnot map, okay. So, in the Carnot map what we do is we take a table representation, okay. So, we take say same x, y, z variable, but I will put those values in tabular form, okay. So, here if for three variables, suppose, so I will take a table like this, where these columns represent x and y, the possible values of x and y, and the rows represent the possible value of z, okay. If so, for x and y, what are the possible values? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. You notice here that I am not writing 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, we watch what we have written in the previous time. Because here the difference will be 2. But here the way I have written here is you see in every two consecutive places the difference is 1. So, for this difference is 1, you take these two, difference is 1. You take this two, difference is 1, only in one bit. Now, you take this one and the last one, the difference is only in one bit. So, in every time, any two consecutive two values, the value is differ by a single bit, which is something the objective of that circuit minimization, okay. So, this is what you remember is the gray code, right. I have uh, discussed that gray code or cyclic code, right. So, this Carnot map actually represent these numbers in cyclic code format, okay. You see here for x, y, the values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. So, the value are chosen such a way that two consecutive number differ by a single bit, okay. Similarly, for z, you have 0 and 1, okay. So, all two numbers are represented by this. And uh, this each locations now is basically will represent a mean term. So, if, uh, the value is getting uh, corresponding to the value of x, y, z. So, for example, for this location it is x, y and z is 1, 0 and z is 0. So, it is 4. We think about this value, it is x, y value is 0, 1 and z value is 1. So, it is 3. You think about this one, x, y value is 1, 0 and z value is 1. So, it is 5. So, I will put the number according to the uh, the value of x, y, z in the truth table, okay. Now, you think about uh, a function that uh, I have taken earlier. So, f of x, y and z, uh, which is represented by 2, 6, 7. So, I can just uh, term this. So, this is this, this was there 2, 6 and 7. So, what does this mean? It is basically x bar y, z bar because 2 is 0, 1, 0, right, 0, 1, 0, which is x bar, y, z bar. And then we have 6, which is 1, 1, 0, 
that means it is x y and z bar which is this one this uh, this this block and you have 7 uh, which is 1 1 and 1 so that means this is x y and z so if you try to combine if i take this two product term okay if i take these two product term what is going to happen you have difference only in x right so you can take y z bar common and then x bar x right similarly uh, i can uh, create a copy of this particular product term here say say for example if you see here this this product term and this product term differ by only z bar but since i have used this here i am not able to use this here so what i can do i can create a copy of that i'll explain why this copy does not a problem then you can combine these two product term, right so here the common is xy then z plus z bar so it will result in y z bar plus xy so initially i was having uh, nine literals three product term now i have four literals two product term so this is the minimal expression of this okay so uh, let us let me explain why this uh, uh, creating a copy of a variable of a product term does not problem right so if you remember the rule that x plus x equal to x right so that means if you do a or of x it will be always x so the same philosophy goes here right so if you take this mean term if you think this is about the big x so if you do a x plus x it will be x so i am just creating a copy of that so i am doing an or of that right so it basically does not change the function okay but creating a copy effectively helps me in minimizing the expression right so if i do not have this copy then what will be the my minimum expression i can only combine these two for, for the first two term and i would have getting y z bar plus x y and z so then i will get five literals whereas when i create a copy of this product term and i get a minimum expression of four literals okay so this we understood now let us try to understand how this the same thing is happening can be done easily in the Carnot map okay so you can see here as i mentioned so i have uh, one uh, i can just put one in these locations right and rest of the locations is blank that means there is zero is there so we usually do not put the zero the blank uh, boxes having zero that means those product terms are not present okay and as i mentioned that since these two product term so that means this two uh, i have one 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 in these two places okay two six and seven now as i mentioned in the Carnot map these two side by side uh, position is differed by a single bit right so that means this this two if you take this locations which is 0 1 0 because x y is uh, if i take in x y it is 0 1 0 0 1 0 this this one and this bit is 1 1 0 right you can see here that only difference is in x so if i combine these two i will end up having expression which is y z bar which is this one similarly if i take uh, this two nearest side by side one this one is x it is basically uh, one one zero and this one is basically one 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 so if i try to combine this this is the only difference so uh, it will end up into x y right and which is this understood so effectively why once we represent that uh, this uh, my truth table in car map format in a Carnot map format then the once and then if i pick uh, the whatever the mean term is present in my function i just put one in those locations then the if i combine two adjacent ones right so then i can reduce the uh, the functionality i can reduce the product terms as well as the literals once we combine two product term having three variables when i combine it will result in one product term with two variables or two literals okay so this way carnot mass is essentially helps in doing finding out the minimum switching function which is represented as a sum of product okay 
So, let me uh, take the example of now four variables Carnot map. In the four variable Carnot map, in the four, let me just talk about that uh, four variable Carnot map. In the four variable Carnot map, you can see here that uh, you will have now uh, a 2D matrix, right? A table of 2D size. Earlier it was two rows, four columns. Because now you have uh, four variables, so that means there are 16 possible values. So I'll put four columns and four rows, and then effectively I'll have 16 possible values that I can store in this table. Okay. So for a four variable map which has w, x, y, and z, this is the variable order. I'll put this w and x in columns and y, z in rows. Okay. And four possible value of w, x is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Similarly, the four possible value of yj is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So, it is very uh, carefully to be noted that after 0, 1, I always write 1, 1. So, that is the uh, features of this Carnot map. Here also from 0, 1 to 1, 1. So, that they just differ by a single bit, right. Every two adjacent value differ by single bit. And based on this value of w, x, y, z, this 0 to 15 values will be written here, okay. So, if you just take uh, this location which is w x y z w x is 0 1 and uh, y z is 1 1 so this is 7 so that's why it's 7 here you take another one this one here w x is 1 1 okay so here w x is 1 1 and uh, y z is 1 0 so it is 14 so this way i'll assign these values okay and also uh, for a function which is give a function in terms of w, x, y and z, I can represent the mean terms as an integer value. I can represent this is nothing but sum of 4, 5, 8, 12, 13, 14 and 15. It means that those product term corresponding to this place 4, 5, 8, right. So, this locations 8, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, these are the ones are there corresponding to this function, okay. These are the one means these are the mean terms that are present in this function, okay. So, I can just represent a function in terms of this integer values corresponding to this table. So, now uh, one interesting aspect here in the Carnot map because it is a cyclic one, you can think about that you can fold this particular map in the row wise as well as column wise okay what does this mean you can fold this to this side okay right you can create a pipe like this where uh, this row will be now adjacent to this row okay and since they are adjacent you can clearly identify that the they will be differ by a single bit okay let me explain why say for example if you see here this uh, 12 right 12 means what uh, it is 1, 1, 0, 0, right, this 12 and this 14 is uh, is already written 1, 1, 1, 0. So, the difference is only in single bit. So, even this two row which is uh, the first row and the last row, they are also adjacent because it is kind of a pipe. Similar way, this 2 and uh, 0 is adjacent, 6 and 4 is adjacent, 10 and 8 is also adjacent in the Carnot map, okay. Now you think about, uh, you can also fold it in, in the uh, column wise. So as a result, this and this column, the first column and fourth column become adjacent. Now let us see that 2 and 10 is adjacent. So 2 is what? 0, 0, 1, 0, right? And 2 and 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. So they are differ by 1 bit. Think about this. 14 and 12. So, 14 is uh, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0. So, they again differ by a single bit. So, they are also adjacent. So, this way 0 and 2 adjacent, 6 and 4 is adjacent, 4, 14 and 12 adjacent, 10 and 8 also adjacent, okay. So, then uh, what you can do actually if there are some values, say suppose in your some cases you have 1 here and 1 here. What does this mean? It is actually 
w x y bar z bar this is this and this one is w x y z so w x uh, this is y bar z bar and this is w x y z so the difference in y okay so if i combine these two so i can actually combine this and this okay and the result will be w x z bar right because you will take y plus y bar common here okay so similarly if you have say 1 1 1 1 1 here and 1 1 1 1 here i can club this uh, two row together and what will be the resultant value because here i am combining eight uh, value values together so here you can see here that so all possible values of wx is there here also all possible value of wx is there so they can be removed right and in this case you have uh, z also uh, ha only the same right y also have 0 and 1 here so effectively if you have this it is nothing but z bar right if a function uh, a function has 8 min terms uh, which is corresponding to these values right this will be result in z bar okay similarly suppose you have one here one here one here one here you can club these two together okay so if i combine these two so it means what uh, if i just try to put the values here so this is basically uh, you can think there are four min terms right so how they are differing they are differing in y bar because it is uh, in all four cases it is uh, zero is y is zero here y is one here right so that means uh, y has for all four values but z is one in all four uh, min terms so I, it is basically z and in about this uh, xy value you can see here uh, w is zero for these two min terms uh, and w is one for these two min terms that means w has also all possible values but x is same right zero and zero so this is effectively means z x bar z right if you club these two four you will result in x bar z so this way you can actually combine uh, multiple product terms if you combine two product terms as i shown here you will end up having a product term which has having three literals because i am talking about four literals here right so you will get end up having w x z bar if you combine eight literals in a four variable so then you will end up having a single literal if you combine four min terms you will end up having a expression having two literals okay so what is the relation here if you combine two one literal is reducing if you combine four two literal is reducing if you combine eight three literal is reducing right so that means two to the power i right so the number of min terms is uh, if the number of min terms min terms is two to the power i then i number of variable will be removed okay i number of variable will be right so this is the idea so this way you can actually combine uh, all this one they are adjacent to each other to minimize the expression so in this context one important uh, thing to be noted is that so the term is called redundant expression okay so as i mentioned when you combine a two product term you are basically reducing the product term right now if you co combine and you get an expression which cannot be reduced further okay then i will say that particular expression is redundant expression okay so no further combination is possible okay so if you take this uh, function which is have one two three four five six min terms and if you combine these two product term or min terms you will get this you can cross check if you combine these two product term you will end up having this if you combine these two product term you will get this is the result and min term and if you combine this last two you will get x z okay so effectively you got an expression x bar z bar plus y bar z bar plus y z plus x z so this is the irredundant expression because if you try to combine anything here it is not possible there is no common term 
common literal between uh, the uh, th uh, these two right so for example you do not have a scenario where you will get apply this a and a a bar rule right so this is an irredundant expression okay but let us try to combine in different way okay so this is the product term 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 you can combine in this format also 1 and 2 that means this and this is 2 1 and 2 that means you will end up getting x bar z bar if you combine 3 and 6 so this and this you will end up getting x y bar even you can cross check and then if you do 4 and 5 that means this and this you will end up getting y z so i have covered all the product terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 and i get an expression which is having three product terms okay this is also redundant because i cannot uh, reduce it further right i cannot combine two product term anymore so what what we found that that your redundant expression is not always minimal because i can have two redundant expression one is minimal the other one is not minimal minimal in the sense minimum number of product terms okay similarly if you combine one and four term you will get x bar y if you combine two and three you will get y bar z bar and then if you combine five and six you will get x z okay so this is also a minimal expression so both of them are actually minimal expression okay and both of them is also redundant so that means for a given function it is not necessary that you will have a minimal expression unique you can have multiple minimal expression and similarly not always all redundant expressions are minimal okay so that is something very interesting and important to note okay so your objective is to identify the minimal expressions and if there are multiple you can identify all or you can identify one but if you identify this one it is still redundant but this is not the minimal one okay so that's something we understood okay so now uh, what we understood in the Carnot map that we can club the two one which is adjacent in this map and I can get a minimum uh, smaller product term okay I'll do it but given a function what will be my steps that I should follow to get the minimal expression so that we should understand and that I'll going to discuss okay so before that uh, let me take the same example uh, that uh, for which we have two mil minimal expression and uh, I try to show that how can I do it using Carnot map and how we will end up getting that three expression that I talked about okay this is the irredundant expression and this is the minimal expression so in this case I have x y and z 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 sorry 0 1 and I have uh, 0 so this is basically 0 1 0 this is 0 0 0 this is 1 0 0 then this is 0 1 1 this is 1 1 1 this is 1 0 1 right I can place them here so this is 0 1 0 which is this then I have 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 then I have 0 1 1 so which is this 0 1 1 then I have 1 1 1 which is this and then 1 0 1 right so 1 0 1 is this so I have this many ones I have to now using Carnot map to do this so if I uh, try to uh, find out this irredundant expression what I am done here if I combine these two what I will get I will get in this case it is x bar z bar right so I will get this one now if I combine these two I will get x bar y which is uh, so this is x bar y uh, which is uh, it's not here so let us try to see this way then say I will combine this way then it is basically uh, y z okay and then if I combine this uh, this one then I will end up getting x y bar okay so this is also an irredundant expression okay which is not um, is the minimal one but if I try to uh, combine this way 
let me uh, draw it again. Zero 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 one 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 zero x y and z. So we have one 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 one. Right. What I can do, I can just uh, combine uh, this way. So I'll combine these two. I'll end up getting x bar z bar. I can combine these two, which I'll give me y z. Right. And then if I combine these two, I'll get x y bar. Right. So, this is x y bar. So, this is one of the minimal expression. Right. So, this is one way of getting the minimal one. So, if I uh, take in other combination, uh, so let me take the truth table again and I will try to show you that how I can get the other uh, minimal expression 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0. 0 1 we have 1 1 1 1 1 1 right so what i can do i can uh, club this way also that i club this and this okay i club this and this and i club this and this so what will happen if i try to write this so here z bar is there z bar and y is also 0 in both cases right so y bar z bar Right. So, this is y by z bar and then this one is uh, x bar y and this one is this one is x is fixed here z is fixed here. right. So, this is this. So, I am going to get this expression. So, from this example you can understand that you can have different way of combining and if you combine uh, this last two ways you will get the minimum one. And if you combine the first one, still you will get a uh, irredundant expression, but that is not the minimal one. And Carnot map can actually help us to do this. Okay. So obviously the question that should come into my mind now is how, how should I approach? Because how do I guarantee that if I combine these product terms, I will end up having a uh, minimal expression. Okay. So the strategy is when you go approach this, first you try to identify the cells that has one which is only can be combined by a cube of two ones okay so let me just first explain what is this uh, cube first so it basically cube says that if you uh, take two uh, cells okay uh, or say i'll say two to the bar m cells okay which is having their adjacent and they are basically uh, where these values of m differ all possible values of m is is there okay so if you think about a when is m equal to 1 it is 2 to the power 1 means basically two cells right in this example if i have two cells like this right this and this so they are two adjacent that i have already told you so this is where i am basically combining 2 to the power 1 and they are differ by a single variable the m is 1 here right m is equal to 1 so the difference in the variable so here uh, if i write this terms is basically w x y bar z bar and this is w y x bar z bar okay so the difference is in y okay so once we combine these two two cubes they are adjacent you will end up getting an uh, expression which is w x z bar right and which is having so in the actual table there are four variables right w x y z and your m equal to 1 so when you combine these two m equal to 1 you will getting a expression which has three variables or three literals okay so so this is about two um, when you are uh, combining a cube of two uh, consecutive blocks okay now if you combine uh, m equal to 2 that means you have 2 to the power 2 means uh, 4 uh, adjacent blocks right or cells then you will get an expression which is having uh, if there are n variables n minus m variables okay or n minus n literals which i have already explained here if you combine these four which are adjacent to each other you get x bar z okay and that x bar z is basically having two literals and actual table has four literals so the 4 n minus m which is 
4 minus 2 which is 2 right now if you combine 8 uh, cells where your m equal to 3 that means 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 so now you are combining 8 cells m minus uh, m equal to 3 so n minus m uh, very literal will remain okay and which i explained here so if you combine this and this 8 cells I end up getting an expression z bar. So, initially there are 4 literals w x y z and I have now only 1 literal which is 4 minus 3 equal to 1 because I have combining 8, eight cells together. Okay. So, this cube is something uh, is important and this uh, cube is happening. Uh, so, the bigger number of blocks uh, the cells you can combine you get a smaller product term. So, your objective is to combine a, a find a as large cube as possible okay so if you just find only two size cube you will only re reduce one literal and one uh, product term okay and if there are m equal to uh, 3 that means if you combine eight uh, product term so initially you have eight product terms okay and everybody has uh, four literals so 24 literals right so eight product terms and 24 literals and you combine into uh, a single product term. So, your number of product term become 1 and literals have only 1. So, you can understand the kind of impact of such minimizations. Okay? Uh, so, so, that means uh, once you if you try to find out the bigger cubes uh, you can combine many many min terms 2 to the power the, if any m equal to 3 that means 2 to the power 3 8 min terms can be combined into a single product term and the literal also reduce by n minus m okay it will become n minus m so uh, once uh, then the how should we approach in Carnot map approach should i uh, initially identify the bigger uh, cubes uh, the answer is no okay the way you should approach is that you try to cover uh, the approach is uh, like this so you try to identify uh, that one cell that cannot be covered by uh, with any other one cell okay so that means if you have some one cell which cannot be combined with anybody you have to keep them okay then if you have some n cell which cannot be combined only uh, can be combined into two cells so you identify is there any one cell that cannot be combined with anybody you keep them because those min terms cannot be combined then you try to identify those uh, ones one cell that can be only combined with another one it cannot be combined with four cells okay so you identify only those cases once you identify all, all those two cells then you try to identify a cube of four cells so you try to identify the four ones together that can be combined into a single uh, product term but that cannot be combined into any a bigger size eight cube okay and so on so this way you will keep applying and you identify all the uh, minimal product terms and if you have find the minimal expression by corresponding to the collection of those cubes right that are large and has few as few as number of possible okay, that is what i have already talked about so let me explain that with two examples say for example uh, i have taken a function which has the min terms 0 4 5 7 8 9 13 and 15 okay so now if uh, if i uh, put those values this uh, this these are the ones right you can cross check so these values corresponding to these ones okay now my approach is that i try to identify is there any one that cannot be combined with anybody there is no such one right so any so the, for every one there is one adjacent okay but i found out that this one cannot be be part of a cube size of 4 right this can be only part of a cube size 2 and that can be combined with this so let i combine this way and we end up having this expression right so this is uh, x bar y bar z bar then if you uh, i found this one which also can be combined only with another one i could have done this way uh, this way or this way i have chosen the this way okay and this will end up having uh, w bar x and y bar right so this is this one I also find out this one which can only combine with a cube size of 2 that cannot be covered by a cube size of 4 and this one is nothing but it is w and then y bar 
z right so this is this one so there is no other one uh, for example i i will not choose this one right i will not choose this one because this two one can be combined by a cube size of 4 okay so my objective is to identify those smaller cubes that can only cover by a size of two cubes okay so this way i identify these three and this i do not select because this is a part this can be combined in a larger cube so now i'll choose this larger cube which is having four ones and that will result in xz okay so this way i create an redundant expression having four product term and having uh, uh, this many uh, 9 plus 2 11 literals okay but i could have approached this way also so i can choose these two i can combine this two and this two because they are actually cannot be part of a size cube size of four and i will end up having these two product term. and then i can uh, choose this four and then i will be having this uh, x z right so this is my minimal expression so it it you need to be careful of uh, how to approach because uh, this is also the approach that i talked about uh, will end up having this expression but you have to choose such a way that you always uh, reach in a minimal expression okay and effectively you can understand that uh, sometime you may make a mistake here right so you need kind of automation which can does this process uh, automatically for you right and we'll talk about those in subsequent classes so i think uh, we understood the overall idea of uh, carnot map minimization in this particular classes and in the next class i'm going to talk about uh, how we can handle uh, more variables how i can handle don't cares and other examples okay thank you mm -hmm.